Hi guys, today I'll be taking a look at a tactile switch from Techware, the Techware Pearl Salmon. Let's get started. Now, before I continue, a disclaimer. These switches were sent to me for review by Techware. I was not paid to make this review and I did not ask or receive any compensation. Finally, impartiality will always be my top priority when making reviews, including this one. Right, let's get started for real this time. Now, the Techware Pearl Salmon is part of the Pearl lineup which consists of four switches, two tactiles and two linears. For this review, I picked the Salmon specifically as it's the heaviest and should be my most preferred to use judging from experience. Additionally and weirdly, I don't recall any other switches with the Salmon nomenclature apart from Alps SKCM Salmons, which are these switches right here. Now, in terms of pricing, these will go for around 23 US dollars per box with 35 switches. And I was told they will be released in Singapore, Malaysia, and the Philippines in the coming weeks. And I received this information two weeks ago as of the release of this video. And this is what they look like when disassembled. Feel free to pause the video. Now, let's move on to the switch categories. On center key presses are buttery smooth with minor scratchiness. It's up there with more expensive switches. Off center key presses aren't as smooth with most switches exhibiting some form of scratchiness. It's not much and it's not too noticeable when normally typing, but they are there if you intentionally feel for them. Overall, they're consistent. I wouldn't hesitate to recommend them to people who are looking for a smooth tactile switch. 7 out of 10. Now, according to the manufacturer, these switches have an actuation force of 60 grams at 2.1 millimeters and a total travel of 3.1 millimeters. Here's the force curve provided to me, which tells quite a different story compared to the specs, especially regarding the actuation, which you can see is around 48 grams, about 12 grams off from the specs, assuming that the FD2 marking is the actuation point. Now for a fun fact. Since these switches bottom out at 3.1mm, they are more or less equal to the Kale Chalk and the Cherry MX low profile switches in that regard. However, don't be mistaken as these are not classed as low profile switches by Techware. Now, in terms of the actual key feel, it's very similar to the SP Star Purple which I reviewed a couple of months ago. The tactility level is between the more tactile Duroc T1 and the less tactile Cherry MX Brown. However, these are definitely closer to the Duroc T1. It's more or less closer to being a legit tactile switch than not, if that makes any sense. Overall, whilst these aren't exactly for me, they aren't bad either. There are definitely people out there that would love these as their daily switch. 7 out of 10. Now for sound, these are amongst one of the best sounding MX based tactile switch that I've ever typed on as a stock switch from factory, which is an important aspect to keep in mind. Additionally, I think with the correct case, plate and keycap combo, these can compete with higher end offerings. And mind you, this is at a stock level, who knows what they can sound like with additional modifications. 8 out of 10. Now, take a listen and enjoy. Now, for typing performance, I'll start with the positives. Firstly, it's decently tactile and very smooth for the most part. Again, it compares very well to the SP Star Purple in this regard. Secondly, and I don't mention this a lot, but these switches provide very minimal keycap wobble. In fact, they are the most stable MX-based switch I have ever used. I have no idea how they did it, but I'm glad they did.
However, with all that said, these salmon switches still feel a little too light for me, and the tactility is weaker than I'd like as well, so I know it's not a switch for me by any means. Overall, if you're looking for a smooth, medium-weighted tactile switch, this is a solid choice. 7 out of 10. Gaming with these was also very nice as they have a consistent weighting and are very smooth, which I've mentioned many times are the key building blocks for making good gaming switches. And Techway pretty much nailed it with these. As a side note, if you're wondering about the reduced travel, it's somewhat noticeable at first for both typing and gaming, but I got used to it pretty quickly and now they just feel like full travel switches. Now for downsides, I mentioned that these are very smooth, but that's only true for 90% of cases, I still feel hints of scratchiness during slow and precise movements in-game. Although it didn't bother me at all, but I figured it was worth mentioning. Another downside which applies to me personally is the lack of tactility. During slower parts of gameplay, it's noticeable and sometimes it's adequate. However, as gameplay pacing increases, the tactility decreases per se. Which is true for any tactile switch, but more so for those that aren't as tactile such as these. Overall, it won't be my top pick for gaming, but if you're someone who's looking to upgrade from a less tactile switch and don't want something too tactile, add these to your wishlist because I think you'll enjoy them quite a bit. 7 out of 10. In conclusion, these are very nice switches, especially given the price, and I think they're going to be underrated. It's really a shame it's only planned to be released in three countries. It honestly deserves a worldwide release in my opinion. The final score for this Switch is 36 out of 50 or 72%, scoring just above the Polaris Purple and tying it with the MX Clear. Very impressive. Anyway, next time I'll be taking a look at another Pearl Switch. Until then, take care and goodbye.